I will be explaining theorem 7.10 in this video. Here you can see the statement. If x is a Hausdorff space, they are given you a space and they are saying that space x is a Hausdorff space. You know that what is Hausdorff space? Hausdorff space means in that space there will be two points, distinct points. It means different points and for that two different points there will be the neighborhoods and that neighborhood will be disjoint for two points you will have two neighborhoods but the condition is the neighborhood should be disjoint that is what Hausdorff space definition so they are saying this x is a Hausdorff space then the sequence of points of x sequence of points of x means they are talking about x and here okay sequence no, so denoting like this sequence of points of x converges to at most one point of x that is converges to a point of x okay one point of x we have to prove this converges to x you have to prove it is converging only to x not any other points that is what we have to prove that is the meaning of converges to at most one point it means the sequence of uh, points of x converges to the only one point that is x it is not converging to any other point. That is what you will prove here. I hope you can understand that. Let me start explaining the proof using my notes. First you have to write the given. Given x is a Hausdorff space. They are given you, right? And then what you have to write? The sequence, uh, wait a minute. Suppose xn is a sequence of x. You are taking a sequence of x. Because in the statement they are not talking about any sequence. They are just saying sequence. They particularly not mentioned any sequence here. So you are taking a sequence. That is let xn be a sequence of x. Like that you have to write. Here I did not write that sentence. You have to write it. Okay, it's a note. Uh, my I the note that I prepared to study for myself. So that is why here you can't see that sentences. What you have to write? Let x n be the sequence of capital X that converges to a point x small x. That is what you are taking. Okay, and then what you will do is. Uh, in the further steps you will say yes it is converging only to the point this x not to any other point it is not converging it is not converging to any other point other than x that is what you will prove so here let the sequence x n uh, sorry let x n be a sequence of x the con that converges to small x the small x is what small x is what small x is the in the bracket you have to write small x is the limit point of x and okay i will show you you have to write like this x is a sequence of x that converges to x in the bracket you have to write this x is the limit point of x and then to prove to prove x and converges to at most one point x of x okay okay so here you are what you are doing is you are taking another one point that is y and you will say and at the end you will say this xn is not converging to this y that is what you will prove at the end okay to prove that you are taking a point other than x you have to take a point no then only you can say that point uh, other than x is not converging uh, right the sequence is not converging to um, any other point other than x that is what our target to find so for that you have to take a point another one point that is y and you are saying uh, from x you are taking and such that this x you are having one point x no that x and the another value you have choose to know that why they are different values that is why they are writing x not equal to y In the also given x is a Hausdorff space no so by the definition of Hausdorff space there exist disjoint neighborhoods this and this for the points x y for this different points there exist a disjoint neighborhoods that is for x there is a neighborhood u and for y there is a neighborhood b in the next line what you are writing is since xn converges to x you can write u contains xn because you know that u contains x but you are having this xn xn converges to x no so instead of x here you are writing xn u contains xn 
for all but finitely many values of n for finitely many values of n u contains x n okay therefore v does not contain x n why you know that u and v are disjoint no so if uh, u contains x n means that x n there will not be common points because they are disjoint right so that is why u does not contain x n for all but infinitely many values of n therefore y is not a limit point of x n so here uh, v does not contain x n you are getting like that no so you are you can say this y is not a limit point of x n so from this you can say our sequence x n is not converging to y therefore uh, in the next line you can write x n therefore x n converges to at most one point x of capital x like that you can write and conclude the proof of this theorem